Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about social reformers and the ways they opted to eradicate the social evils of our society. Let's understand who are social reformers, the people who felt that changes are necessary in the society and unjust practices should come to an end. It can be done by giving up the old practices and adopting a new way of life. Some of the great reformers are Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Ishwar Chandar Vidyasagar, Swami Dayanand Saraswati, Tarabai Shinde, Pandita Ramabai, and Begum Rukaya, etc. Raja Ram Mohan Roy, he was born in 1772 and died in 1833. He was among prominent social reformers and one of the greatest feminists. He was given the title of Raja by Akbar the Mughal Emperor. Raja Ram Mohan Roy was an Indian religious, social and educational reformer. He challenged traditional Hindu culture such as Sati and indicated the lines of progress for Indian society under British rule. He is called the maker of modern India and also the father of modern India. He founded the Brahm Sabha in 1828 which was later known as Brahm Samaj. Raja Ram Mohan Roy was a linguist. He was well versed in Sanskrit, Persian and several other Indian and European languages. He used ancient sacred texts to change the traditions. The approach taken by Raja Ram Mohan Rai was used by later reformers as well. Whenever they want to change a practice that seemed harmful, they tried to find a verse or sentence in the ancient sacred texts that supported their point of view. They then suggested that the practice as it existed at present was against the early traditions. Let's know about contribution of Ishwar Chandar Vidya Sagar. He was born in 1820 and died in 1891. He was an educator and social reformer. He is known as father of Bengali prose. He worked for widow remarries and women education. Vidya Sagar means ocean of knowledge. He initiated the concept of widow remarries and raised the concern of child marriage and polygamy. He also opened the doors of colleges for the lower caste students which was earlier reserved for Brahmins. His efforts for girl education are remarkable. At that time, people do not want to send girls to school. There were few reasons for that. People feared that schools take girls away from home, prevent them doing their domestic duties. Girls had to pass through public places in order to reach school and it will have corrupting influence on them. They believe that girls should stay away from public places. It was also believed that if a woman was educated, she would become a widow. Let's learn about Swami Dayanand Saraswati. He was an Indian philosopher and social religious leader. He founded Arya Samaj in 1875. He used the word Savraj for the first time in 1876 by saying India for Indians. He was born in 1824 and died in 1883. He was among prominent Hindu religious leader and Vedic scholar. He worked for women education and equal rights for them. There were few women reformers also and Pandita Ramabai was one of them. 
she was a great scot sanskrit scholar that's why she was given the title of pandita she wrote about miserable life of women she founded widows home at pune to provide shelter widows she was a pioneer in education and a great social reformer jyotira phule worked a lot to remove caste inequalities he was born in 1827 he was an indian social activist thinker anti caste social reformer and writer he was from maharashtra he worked for the eradication of untouchability and caste system he worked for women education he was married with savitri bai they both worked against social discrimination he wrote a book named gulamgiri which means slavery in 1873 he founded satyashodhak samaj his wife is regarded as first lady teacher of india dr b r ambedkar was born on 14th of april in 1891 he is popularly known as father of indian constitution he campaigned against social discrimination towards the dalit known as untouchables he started temple entry movement in 1927 and led such three temple entry movement from 1927 to 1935 he was well known social reformer jurist and politician he was rewarded bharat ratna in 1990 he died in 1956 ev rama swami naikar was born in 1879 He was known as Periyar. He started self-respect movement. He is known as father of Dravidian movement. He rebelled against Brahminical dominance and gender and caste inequality. He was an outspoken critic of Hindu scripture. He died in 1973. Here are images of some. other important reformers of india who worked for child marriage sati pratha widow remarriage women education and caste inequalities some of them were haridas thakur shri narayan guru mumtaz ali tara bai shinde guru ghasi das swami vivekanand and sir sayyad ahmed khan here are some events along with year in which they took place sati pratha was banned in 1829 brahm samaj in 1830 widow remarriage act 1856 ved samaj was founded in 1864 prarthana samaj in 1867 jyoti rao phule rot gulamgiri in 1873 sir sayyad ahmed khan founded Anglo Orient College later known as Aligarh Muslim University in 1875 Arya Samaj was founded in 1875 Dr Ambedkar led temple entry movement in 1927 and child marriage restraint act came into being in 1929 I hope this video will help you in quick revision of the chapter Thank you. Have a nice day.